Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody, and it's cast time once again. And um, let me go ahead and start by saying that uh, there is going to be a fair amount of moving parts in this video, so get ready for some mistakes to be made. Um, and the um, let me uh, intro this. Mu oh, let me fix this real fast. Okay. And then let me intro this music really quick. Um, this is going to be. Lord Bill's Sea Shanty Collection Volume 2. I mainly I mainly got this one on the strength of its thumbnail. It's pretty intriguing. But uh, otherwise, I've only listened to like a real tiny bit of this. Um, I just... I just... Uh, looking at the YouTube description, it didn't say anything about it being copyrighted. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of go all in on this. So, let me go ahead and fire this up. Um, but otherwise, for the most part, just I mostly lazed around. It wasn't like I could really do anything constructive anyway. I had a, I think I uploaded probably like four videos today. Um, technically uh, two videos, but I upload them to both YouTube and Twitch. So that's basically, to me, that's basically four videos. And, um, because uh, my computer isn't exactly a supercomputer, um, I can only upload one at a time. Like I can't, I can't upload two at a time. I can't upload like two of them, cause that'll clog up my computer like big time. So, like I, like I said, I can only upload one at a time. So that's basically four videos I have to, and each one typically takes. I think these ones here are probably on the smaller side, so you're probably. I'd say 45 minutes to an hour to, you know, to get it uploaded. Then you got to sit and wait for it all to get processed. Then you got to sit and wait even longer uh, for the, um, for all the checks to go through. Um, one thing YouTube does do that I like, um, it's really, it's a tremendous quality of life improvement. Back in the day, you had, you would have to up, completely upload and process the video in order to find out whether or not it's going to get copyright claimed. But you'd, you'd have, like I said, it would have to be all the way uploaded and officially published in order to find out if it was uh, copyright claimed or not, which I, I couldn't stand that. Because oftentimes by the time I actually get to the, by the time I actually get to the video to delete it after it's been copyright claimed, some people have already watched it. So, and I don't want to be, you know, and when that happens, it's kind of a dick move doing that to them. So, this time around, a big upgrade from YouTube is uh, now they do all the checks. They do all the checks, and then before publishing. So, you can, if there is any issues, YouTube will go ahead and show them to you before you, you know, before you publish it. So, that helps a lot. So, that way, so... When something does get copyright claimed, I can just go ahead and give a yay or nay. More often than not, it's a nay. I'll just go ahead and delete the video right then and there. So, I don't have to actually put it up on YouTube. And then, at least at least one person will watch it. And then I end up having to delete it almost immediately after he does this. I gotta turn it up from my end. <laughs> this sounds pretty cool. We will depend on the dead man ship. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. So, but um, otherwise, otherwise, aside from that, just did my, spent a good chunk of the time though playing Jumps of War. Um, you know, just doing that, um, I got a, I accidentally, I accidentally stumbled into a brand spanking new build, and uh, that I, that I really like, so i just been playing it a lot, and then um, at some point later on, I actually, um, 
I didn't actually go on their website, but I did do a Google search of uh, 505 Games, the people that actually created actually created uh, Gems of War. They're Italian. I never knew that. That really surprised me. I mean, so they came from the same country that Zachariah Pinball came from. Um, it's I'll I'll play Zachariah Pinball from time to time, and and Zach Zachariah's tables are legitimately hard. I mean, because they're, it's, I swear, it's like they were designed by Rube Goldberg or something. Because, uh, very, not a whole lot of those tables are straightforward. So. But very, very unconventional design. Oh, and, um, uh, I also forgot to mention, too, that, um, this cast here, I got a feeling it's probably going to be a fairly short one. Like I said, I... I did, didn't really do anything super constructive, other than uh, other than play uh, play Gems of War, um, and 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 a, and a thing or two later on as well. I'll explain those later. But like I said, just mostly just slobbing and napping. Ah uh, yes, and something else I forgot to do. Hold on. Gotta wait for it to come up. Okay, anyway. But yeah, out. But, um. But yeah, 505 Games, they struck me as an American company. I mean, it's, you know, if you look at the, the flavor text on the cards. Um, you know, you look at some of the, uh, you know, you look at some of the tool tips, and already I am screwing this up. <laughs> this is cool. But yeah, like I was saying, I mean, if you look at the flavor text on the cards, um, and just the, the way the, the artwork, I mean, the way the artwork looks and stuff like that, it just, it nearly looked American. But no, um, no, the company's actually Italian, so. Pretty serious mind blow. And then, um, for a little while, um, I went ahead and played some, uh, played some more uh, Guilty Gear XRD, uh, Revelator, kind of like, kind of like Street Fighter. They, they don't go, they don't go Guilty Gear Two, Guilty Gear Three, Guilty Gear Four. They gotta have like Guilty Gear XRD to, XRD to the nth power Revelator. You know, it, they got these, they gotta have these long ass names for it. I think uh, Angry Video Game Nerd has probably had a video about it. But um, this time around, I think uh, this time around, I just tooled around a little bit on Eno. She was actually the big reason why I got into Guilty Gear to begin with. Just, she's pretty much my main. Uh, for the very brief period of time that I played uh that I played Guilty Gear Strive. She was pretty much the reason I took up the game. I'm a real sucker for uh, chicks who play guitar. Um, another game, uh, Streets of Rage 4. One of the characters on there, uh, not Cherry Blossom. Cherry Hunter. Um...
typing something down. Okay, never mind. That it's gonna take me all morning to pull it up. Anyway, but but yeah, uh, the game Streets of Rage 4. That was the reason I played that game because it had a, a chick playing guitar on it. So. But um, the big problem I have with uh, with Guilty Gear, like a lot of other games, notably Street Fighter, is uh, they have motion inputs. Which I'm not a big fan of. One, one I can't do them half the time. And then secondly, um, my controller costs about sixty bucks, and already it's uh, already it's starting to go on the fritz. Like it's uh, it's uh, doing what I call double tapping. Like you push a button once, and the controller uh, the controller decides to hit it twice, or it registers twice. I think that's the word I'm looking for. So, so I gotta, I prefer, uh, I prefer one button specials. Now, to be fair, this game here, I, I forget the name of, name of the mode. I'll just call it, uh, easy mode where, uh, it has auto combos. You could just, you could perform a combo just by, uh, hitting one button over and over, which I'm, I'm not a fan of auto combos. I mean, I could do them. But the problem is, is I'd, I'd rather have uh, one button specials, one button special attacks and stuff like that. Kind of like how Fantasy Strike works. Oh, I'm gonna take out a drink here. Oh, Arizona green tea. Damn, this cast has gone on longer than expected. A bit, a bit of a surprise. But, but yeah, but um, with Guilty Gear, you can't, you know, if I choose, if I choose easy mode, I have to, I have to do the auto combos as well. You can't, I can't just pick one or the other. Like I said, one of the things that I was, to a lesser extent, Dragon Ball Fighters has auto combos. But, uh, if, but you don't, you don't have to do them. You can, uh, there's other combos that you can do without autoing. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn that down. Yeah, I gotta turn that down a little bit. Is that supposed to be a dolphin? This is, this sounds pretty wicked though. I might I might actually play this during my stream if I can remember to. But uh oh and uh and yeah I have uh I have been uh, I have been watching more on uh, Planet Earth as well. Uh it's the very first season. Um I think I had just finished up the Deserts episode. I'm now watching uh, Wild Plains, or Great Plains, I think it's called. Where, uh, I think they talk about how grass, like in, like, uh, in the Mongolian steppes and stuff like that, they're almost, they're, they're almost as uh, tough as roaches. Like, they get trampled on, they get eaten by birds and wildebeest and whatnot, but they, they keep on growing. They keep growing back, so... So yeah, that that's how far along I am in, in that video series. So Okay, but um otherwise I believe that's gonna do it for me. Um I think I've I've actually said more than what I thought I was gonna say. Like I said, I thought this was gonna be a short cast, like around five, ten minutes or so. But no, it's gone on almost fifteen minutes. So surprise, surprise. Um but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, and which will be my last one for the week. So, but until, but until then, no.
Thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.